Hey guys, Greg here from Cruising with Greg. So I've got about 290,000 miles you can see here on my odometer on my 2001 Land Cruiser. So I want to get a sense of how healthy the engine is. It's also been about 11,000 miles since my last oil change. So I want to figure out, is this way too long for interval um, or is the oil still fine? So we're going to get an oil sample here, send it off and hopefully get our numbers back to see, are we getting a lot of contaminants in the oil? Are we getting coolant or fine metal particles? And is the oil still holding up after 11,000? miles of use so let's go ahead and get to it alrighty so let's go ahead and get our oil sample collected and our sheet filled out we'll get everything packaged up ship it off and wait for our sample to come back now that we have our sample collected we'll roll it up in this absorbent material so it doesn't spill out in transit and then we'll go ahead and tuck it into this Ziploc plastic bag Once we get our sheet filled out front and back, we can wrap it around the sample like so. And then we'll just slip it into the black container here. Put the lid on. Slot it into the plastic mailing bag. And once we get it sealed up, we will ship it off and wait for the results to come back. All right, so after about 10 days, our report came back and you can see what it looks like here. Up at the top, some personal information, some of your vehicle information. Down at the bottom is the more specifics of different elements and properties of the oil. So let's take a look at the top section here. You have your customer information. You have the vehicle information in that unit section. You have your personal information. I have mine blurred out here in the client section. Um, then you have the comment section, which is where the, the laboratory technicians will actually write in uh, kind of a summary of what they're seeing in your vehicle, in your oil. Um, and that's before you get down to the lower section where you get more specific. But this gives them a chance to explain what they're seeing and what they think might be an issue or something to work on and something to look out for next time. So let's go ahead and dive into the lower section here for my last report. You can see we have um, the unit location averages and the universal averages. Those are just different averages um, of the type of engine uh, that yours falls in the same category with and kind of what the expected value should be. Um, you can also see I had my last um, test done uh, in the third column there. Uh, so I have all my numbers there. I can compare it on one sheet really easily. Um, but going down the list here, you have different elements. Um, some of the ones that stand out that they mentioned in the comments were copper, uh, which they mentioned could be a sign of excessive wear. And that kind of makes sense because I had that oil in there for 11,000 miles. And when I drained it, I didn't get the full uh, seven quarts to come out. So I think it was a little bit low. So I need to pay attention to that next time um, I'm driving, make sure my oil doesn't uh, get too low next time. Um, but that does kind of track with what I thought might be an issue when I submitted this sample. Other things on here, things like lead, um, that could be kind of from wear as well. Um, nothing else really stands out as, as high or too elevated up in the elements section. Um, silicon, not really a worry. A lot of that could be from kind of dirt that gets into the sample. So if your uh, oil pan is dirty um, when you're draining it, some, some might get in there and get into the sample. Not a huge concern. It's not really a, a, a number that's super elevated. So not worried about that too much. Once we get down to the property section, um, this is kind of more of how does the oil hold up after all this time? It kind of gives you an idea of, you know, can I run this oil for 10,000 miles or 11,000 miles or even 15,000 miles? Um, so taking a look here, the viscosity section, the SUS viscosity isn't really used much uh, by a lot of people, but they list it on here, just a different measurement of viscosity. Um, but if we look at the CST viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius, um, your viscosity is your measure of your fluid's uh, ability or tendency to flow. So if it's really thick, um, it's, it's going to be slow moving. It's not going to be able to get to the components as easily and lubricate everything. If it's really thin, it's allowed, you know, it can move around the engine a lot more easily. Um, the oil that this, the Land Cruiser takes is 5W30. Um, it's pretty close to 10W30, but the only difference is it doesn't thicken as much in the cold. So when you get those cold temperatures, it doesn't get as thick, um, which allows it to move around the engine more and, and keep lubrication. So we can see there, our value for viscosity falls within that range. Um, I think from the factory mobile one, 5W30 comes in at about 11 rating on the viscosity. So we're about just, uh, just above 10. So that's still really good. Then if we look at the flash point in Fahrenheit, you can see here in the gray column, uh, it should be above 385. We're at 415. 
The mobile one from the factory, the brand new oil, um, does have a flash point of 230 degrees Celsius, which translates to 446 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so you can see here we are still in a good range, being above 385. The flash point itself doesn't really matter too much for the oil. It, it's it's more about um, an indication of if other contaminants have gotten into the oil, like fuel. So if things get into the oil, it'll lower the flash point, which that number could then indicate you have contaminants. So the flash point itself doesn't really play too much of a role in the oil's functioning. It's just a matter of do you have contaminants in there or not. I've uh, been looking at antifreeze. We have zeros there, so we're all good. Yeah. Uh, the water percentage, that could be another in, uh, indication of contamination or seals going bad. Um, we are good there on the water. And then the insolubles, um, if that number gets a little too high, it could show uh, high levels of oxidation. So overall, a pretty good report. And if we look at our last report that I got, um, I was really happy with this one when it came back. You can see here, this land cruiser earned just about the best set of results they could expect. Uh, the averages matched right up to what they normally do with a 6,000 mile run. Um, so... A little disappointed in this report having some of that wear, uh, but like I said, I'll keep an eye on the oil level next time, make sure it doesn't get that low. And maybe I don't run it 11,000 miles, even though the oil itself is okay, the viscosity and, and everything is, is still good. Um, just want to keep a closer eye on it and just get fresher oil in there sooner. So glad I did this report. It's, it's not that expensive at all. It's good peace of mind, especially for these older vehicles. So if you want to have that peace of mind for your Land Cruiser LX470, go ahead and do this. Uh, oil report, uh, go ahead and get your t oil test to get your report back and just have that peace of mind. So thanks for watching everybody and stay tuned for the next video.